Introducing SnapReduce 2.0 from SnapLogic, bringing the power of a fast, multi-point and modern integration platform as a service to Hadoop. SnapReduce 2.0 delivers comprehensive big data acquisition, preparation and delivery. In this brief demonstration you'll see how SnapLogic makes it easy to ingest data into HDFS, easily prepare big data for consumption by taking advantage of the power of Hadoop with automatic MapReduce job generation, and to be able to quickly deliver timely and relevant data to your choice and analytical and business intelligence tools. Let's switch over into the SnapLogic designer and let's start with the acquisition, getting the data into HDFS. In this example I've created a pipeline which browses a folder on FTP looking for new log files which when found then SnapLogic then reads that data, streams it in fact directly into HDFS. As the SnapLogic execution takes place in Hadoop itself, running as a yarn managed application, the data is being acquired in the most efficient way possible. The preparation phase is where it really gets interesting. This is where SnapReduce 2.0 really comes into its own, with SnapLogic delegating the actual processing of the pipeline to a dynamically generated MapReduce job, leveraging the full capability of your Hadoop cluster. In this example, we're reading files from HDFS. If I click in here, you can see we've got built in a file browser. We can see the files that are available here. In this case, I'm going to read all of the files in that directory and process them. Parse them out in the CSV. We can see we've specified here what each of the different columns is. That can also be done automatically. Sort the data. In this case, we're just going to sort based on ad revenue, just as an example, and then writing the result set back into HDFS. So when we run this, just by selecting the correct runtime location, our sidekick here is a snapplex actually located in Hadoop. We call it a Hadoopplex. And by selecting that and running this, kick off this task now actually to run inside that uh, Hadoop cluster. While that's running, let's switch over to the dashboard. And as we switch over to the dashboard, we can see there's the snapplex, the Hadoopplex, with the, uh, the little running elephant, and we can see the execution tasks that we've got running. Here you can see that task, one that I ran earlier, and there's the one that's currently running. Now that is in HDFS just writing into this EC2 user webinar directory. And here you can see that file come back there. So if we go back into Designer, when this completes, this will all go green. And we're waiting for the SnapReduce to uh, come back to us to let us know that that's happened. And when that completes, we can see it's all gone green and that's actually successfully written that. So when we've done that, we can then look at actually taking the resulting data and distributing that out to our analytic applications. In this case, just reading from that HDFS file that we've just written and parsing it out and writing it out to Tableau, Burst and in this case also Redshift. SnapLogic has got over 160 different snaps for different applications, technologies and databases where that data could be written out to. So. Certified by Cloudera and Hortonworks with over 160 pre-built snaps and a modern iPaaS architecture, SnapLogic makes it easy to acquire, prepare and deliver big data. To learn more about SnapReduce and SnapLogic solutions for big data, visit snaplogic.com slash big data. Thank you.